Uh, Scott McLaughlin, thank you for speaking with Central Coast Newspapers. You've, um, you've landed only recently in the top job on the Central Coast here in health. First of all, how's it going? Morning, Dave. Well, it's, uh, it's great to be here on the Central Coast. It's just a beautiful part of the world. And um, at the moment, we've got a really interesting um, development with COVID, a new strain of COVID that's, uh, we're still finding out what it's, it's meaning, but uh, you know, no doubt we'll see in coming days and weeks uh, a big growth in the numbers of people that are being infected by COVID and then you know, the you know, people around them um, impacted as, as well. At the moment, you know, we don't have any patients in hospital. It's a real credit to the, uh, to the rates of vaccination on the coast, which I want to say thank you to everyone that's um, been vaccinated in the last three, four, five months. You know, it's coming up on a time for everyone to really look for the opportunities to get the booster doses, which has now been moved forward to five months from your second dose of, um, of your vaccination. And that really is the time that'll give us maximum protection to stop people getting you know, hospitalised or, or really crook from COVID. I think that's what we're seeing at the moment is, is you know, the, uh, the benefit of vaccination, stopping people from getting crook. We know that it will spread more widely through our community in, in coming days and weeks. The, um, you've, you've come from a clinical background yourself. Uh, you've, you've managed the uh, Western District's health district. Um, how, what's the difference about the Central Coast in your um, in your experience so far? Well, Dave, apart from being just a beautiful part of the world to, to live, um, well, we've got a fantastic health system here. You know, two brand new hospitals in both Gosford and Weil, you know, major developments in you know, both what we call the tertiary services, the really high-end specialist you know, health services. And so you know, this is just a joy to come and Join the team of nearly seven thousand amazing health staff in the, on the central coast. Well, you you're not without your challenges. I know your uh, your nurses are uh, are worried about ratios and um, and also that there's such a, a growing population here that uh, must put a little bit of pressure on the on the system. Yeah, it sure does. Uh, no doubt, in the next you know, five and ten years, we're going to see a big growth in you know, the central coast population, particularly up around Wyong and the communities surrounding there. We know that there's big developments and we'll see you know, a lot of people moving to the region, about 60,000 additional people in the next you know, seven and 10 years of forecast. And with that, you're, you're right, you know, I think our health staff are feeling uh, pretty fatigued after the last 18 months of you know, the impact of COVID and workload in our hospitals. But you know, they've just been amazing. And you know, we are looking forward to a bit of the, the Christmas and the New Year mm. break to try and get some of our staff a bit of a reprieve. But, you know, we, we do a lot to try and support our staff through this. And I you know, just want to say thank you to 7,000 amazing you know, clinicians and support people that you know, form their health system in the Central Coast. Now, moving on to the, the, the issue at hand, uh, uh, the AMA president um, and many others, including Norman Swan and others, so are calling on governments to reconsider their their mask uh, advice. Uh, what what's what's the what's the recommendation from um, a clinician and also from from the local health district? We are seeing a lot of people. Yeah, you know, over the weekend was a good example. Um, wearing masks out in public when they're going into a shop, in a supermarket, in the Bunnings or other locations. And to be honest, that that does make some sense given the rate of transmission of, of Omicron. Um, and so I really would urge everyone, you know, if that's um, something important to you to protect yourself, your loved ones and everyone around you, then masks are still a good solution to stop the spread and stop you picking up COVID. They're certainly not mandatory. And in a lot of um, environments, you don't need to wear a mask. But we know that COVID doesn't spread um, as widely out in outdoor areas. And so that's a, a safer environment. It's not totally um, safe as we know people can pick it up. But certainly in, um, in closed environments, whether it's a, a restaurant, pub, cafe or, or other shops, you know, I think I, I saw probably 60 or 70% of people on the weekend were wearing a mask. I mean, that that mm -hmm. makes some good sense to me. Now, you've uh, you, the, the case numbers, the daily case numbers as published through health have spiked on the central coast where I think we had 72 yesterday, 88 um, the day before. Do you expect that to increase uh, the same way as the, the rest of the state? 
So I think we will. Um, if you look at the hunters' experience at the moment, that they've seen a doubling in case numbers every two days. And it's much faster than what's been experienced before. Uh, over the weekend, we saw our case numbers plateau um, with between 70 and 80 a day for the last three or four days. Now, that's still record numbers compared to what we've seen in the last three, four, five months with the way through the, the outbreak. Uh, it's a bit of the impact of, of the Omicron um, variant, but it's also a product of people moving around, going out, socialising, and uh, particularly in a lot of the pubs and pubs and those indoor areas that we'll see further spread. I think the last thing we want to see at the moment is people impacted this close to Christmas. And so it's a perfect window of time for you know, people to just stay at home if you don't need to go out. If you do go out, then take all the precautions that we know keep us all safe. Um, one of the things that's becoming very popular is the rapid antigen tests. They're readily available now through the supermarkets, pharmacies and others. Now, they're a good quick test, you know, Typically, 15 to 20 minutes turnaround, you get a result back. It's reasonably reliable, so you, you do get a, a few false positives occasionally, but it also gives you a bit of peace of mind. And so for people going to, whether it's Christmas parties, to you know, lunches and everything else with your families, and want to keep your family safe, they're also a good, good option um, to um, give you some feedback whether you, you might be at risk of having COVID or spreading it. All right. Well, there's um, you as you said. There's um, there's there's no one in ICU or hospital at the moment. Is that these are the sort of reports I guess that we're all hanging on. Um, mm. So, are, are you happy with your the, the health district's preparedness for an eventual um, uh, spike in that? We've done a lot of work, obviously, over the last eighteen months, as all health systems have, uh, to make sure that if patients come into our service. We can safely care for them, both protecting themselves plus our staff and, and others around them. That, they're, they're, all of those things are very um, well in place in our emergency departments and other services. Um, as you said, we, we don't have uh, any patients admitted to hospital at the moment or in intensive care. And that's a good positive sign that, that people aren't getting crook. What we typically see is you know, the, the, the time that people get really crook and need admission to hospital is about seven to 10 days after they initially get infected or become infectious. Um, so that time could still come. And you know, I'm confident that our you know, fantastic hospitals on the Central Coast in both Gosford and Wyong have good plans ready. If we do need to have patients admitted to hospital, then we've got those spaces available as staff trained. You know, some of our intensive care staff, I was up in the intensive care just last week and talking with some of the staff, they're, they're now so well organised in here, they care for patients. Um, it's become a bit like caring for any other patient that we see in mm. intensive care, albeit with some extra precautions around it. So yes, we do have you know, the ability to provide that care. We're, we're well, well organised and, and ready for it. Well, that must, be, um, that must be music to the ears of many Central Coast residents, many of whom are in the elderly age bracket. Um, once again, welcome to the district and we look forward to talking to you again about things. Likewise, Dave, it was, uh, it was a pleasure talking to you and, uh, and thank you to, to everyone across the whole of the coast for just trying to keep us safe at the moment. Well, Merry Christmas to you. That's it. Yeah. Thank you.